and Orange County employees showing off his skills as a muralist in a place you'd least expect. Yes, after noticing his workplace needed a few uh, spruce ups, he grabbed the painting brush. And New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona is at the Orange County Mosquito Control Building, and she can explain the true purpose behind the murals. This is where Rafael Melendez took a step further as a mosquito control technician. His supervisor tells us that by painting these walls with some of Florida's ecosystem, he's getting results for Orange County. Rafael Melendez used to paint houses for a living in his native Puerto Rico. Today he's a lab technician for Orange County's mosquito control unit and the artist behind this mural. Something like this is almost the first time. Between he and I, we came up with the idea of, of actually putting a mural up and that was all Rafael. He kind of designed how it was going to go. The mural begins with a painting of a mosquito's life cycle, starting from the egg stage to a full-grown mosquito. After that, then you can see an actual Florida ecosystem in some of the places where you might be able to find mosquitoes. The mural also features a house with a pool in the back, a hanging tire. It's basically explaining areas where mosquitoes breed, an idea that now serves a double purpose. I'm so happy because um, we can teach people um, and kids for mosquito, and I'm very grateful to do something like this. The area which once served as a storage unit underwent two years of transformation, turning into a mosquito fish pavilion. And the fish that we use here are for mosquito control. By designing it the way that we have, not only does it serve a function as far as keeping the fish, uh, but it's also an educational area now. These tiny fish called gambusia are getting results for Orange County. They are a means of controlling mosquitoes by just using fish instead of any sort of chemical treatment. The fish are taken to areas where they're standing water. We can actually take some of these fish and place them in there and they will eat up the mosquito larvae, but they'll continue to go and keep the mosquito larvae down. Fish are not the only resources used in the fight against those annoying insects. Orange County monitors uh, 10 chicken flocks strategically placed throughout the county where we uh, draw blood from chickens on a weekly basis and, this, and we're looking for viruses like West Nile virus, uh, Eastern equine encephalitis, uh, St. Louis encephalitis, anything that could be transmitted to people from the bite of a mosquito. Officials say the core mission for their newly designed pavilion is for it to be a bonus in their educational programs. It's great to have it because, you know, if you want to educate parents, you always have to start with the kids. We are hoping to be able to take this out and be able to take smaller samples of this to schools as well and kind of give this a boost to our education program. This pavilion is open to the public for people that are interested in learning more about mosquito control. Administrators tell us that they eventually hope to work with Orange County Schools and that way provide tours for students. In Orange County, I'm Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9.